Hello everyone, this is John back again with another um, product review. Today I'm going to be <clears throat> doing something very familiar if you've been paying attention lately. Uh, you know that I just did a comparison where I determined the best tasting uh, super concentrated ultra microdose coffee is Jot. Now, just after I got done with that review, I found out that Jot is coming out with a second um, type. Uh, but this is a limited run type. Uh, this is uh, for the month of March 2021. Um, as you know, March is Women's History Month, and Women's History is everyone's history. And they are going to be, they well, they are already out with Jot Wavelength. Jot Wavelength is a company in Nicaragua. Well, it is a farm in Nicaragua. It is a small batch coffee brewer, and it is a women, woman-owned estate. Uh, so, the uh, the small batch farm in Nicaragua is owned by a woman. And what I'm going to do is just taste it and compare it to normal jot to see if I can figure out any subtle differences so first of all I'm just going to taste them both black I have regular jot in this white cup and I have jot wavelength in this red cup and then I'm going to of course add some creamer to it as well so let's get the baseline here and taste the regular jot I've had before. Okay, still the same uh, rich, smooth coffee notes that I'm used to. Now the jot wavelength. Okay. In no way am I some type of coffee sommelier or expert and can pick up subtle differences and in, in things like this. But I'm going to try to do my best here. I think the wavelength has a little bit more of a tannic flavor to it. Um, I'm not going to say sour. But it's not sour, but it has a little more zippiness there are, definitely is some difference in the flavor is it widely different wildly different no is it just as good as jot yes it's definitely not worse Let's add some cream. And that seems like I'm going to be needing more creamer soon because that bottle's empty. Let's taste them with some cream. Again, not a professional coffee taster here. And I didn't measure out exactly how much cream I put in both of these, but it does seem like the wavelength coffee, the coffee flavor um, held up through the cream. 
a little bit more. This is way harder than the three-way comparison because these are pretty similar in flavor. Jot, jot wavelength. I think it's just because they do a really good job of extracting all the good flavors. It's interesting in um, in beauty stores um, when they have the cologne section, they'll have like these little shakers filled with coffee beans, and you're supposed to smell them to like reset your your smell between smelling colognes. Maybe I should have a cologne between smelling coffees. I've determined the J Javi one by definitely had enough differences very strong differences and each was very unique in smell and flavor the regular jot and the jot wavelength for uh, honestly for my abilities and my experiences I don't think that uh, I don't think that I'm qualified to really be able to tell you the differences between these two. That being said, I think we've learned a little bit that uh, if you were a regular coffee drinker, not like you can't tell the difference between beans from one place and beans from another if the whole process uh, after the bean is the same, then you're probably also not going to be able to tell the difference. That being said, it's the same price. It was the same price as a regular jot, and I believe that it was only available for the month of March. Um, and really, I got it to support Women's History Month, and just because I had recently done the other review, I was curious to see if it would be a whole lot different. It's not. That being said, it's it's good. Um, it's an individual price thing. You can't get it in a subscription because of the limited time thing, but you can get it in packs of one, two, or three to reduce prices. Other than that, though, Jot continues to be a very good option for instant coffee that's not those dried crystals. Um, again, it was $30, so it's going to be like $2.00. 15 cents I believe if I remember correctly per cup it is not cheap of course you can get a giant thing of instant crystals for a lot cheaper but it's very good so this is in the market for those people willing to spend that much money for good coffee but convenient and there's also other applications you can do it cold you can put it on ice cream and other stuff as well. So there's some convenience factor there, but it's also a good coffee. And you pay, uh, you get what you pay for. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this review. Hope you enjoyed it for the Jot Wavelength Coffee. We'll see you guys later. Thumbs up, like and subscribe. Bye.